Okay, wait a minute. Who is Deacon Hall? Okay, are you a comic book fan? Well, Deacon Hall is the arch nemesis. Wow. But anyway, how'd your meeting go? Well, I think my congregation is joining yours, and I think I may be your new assistant pastor. You think? <laughs> <laughs> okay, short version. Deacon Hall didn't want this pastor, and he definitely does not want the status quo of this church disrupted, period. Okay, so we're sunk? Let's just say, the less he knows, the better. Oh, glory to God. I hear you loud and clear, Lord. I'll be on my way. Oh, I feel your presence, Lord. Oh, praise you, Lord. You've given me another assignment. Okay. Good afternoon. Okay. Good afternoon, Deacon Hall. Let me introduce Pastor McKnight. Good afternoon, Pastor McKnight. Good afternoon, sir. What brings you to our fine church? Well, I've come to congratulate Pastor Lynn on her new pastor. <laughs> Wasn't that nice of him, Deacon Hall? Absolutely. <laughs> um, let's go to the fellowship hall. Well, first I want to go to the pastor's office. Um, I could use a nice hot cup of coffee. Good, she's got a pot in her office. Uh, but there's pie and coffee in the fellowship hall. Oh, pie sounds good. You know what, I haven't had any lunch today. Uh, well, l let me let her know I'm here first. Okay, but wait, she's actually in a meeting. Female talk. Let's go to the fellowship hall. Oh, oh all, all right, okay. Gentlemen, let me get the coffee and the pie while you two get acquainted. Okay. So, Deacon Hall. Yes, sir. Isn't that the social services worker's car? How did that woman find her so quickly? Oh, Father in heaven, maybe Lena is too old for all this. Oh, me darling, I believe someone's trapped in the back door there. Can you help me get them out? Is someone really trapped? Oh, love, I heard voices, and they sound a wee bit panicked, and the door is jammed shut. All right, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, dear. Go ask the door. Hello? It's Maddie, Pastor Lynn's friend. May I come in? Are you alone? More or less. Okay, get in here quick. I'm almost afraid to ask, what's up with the clown? Oh, pie, that sounds lovely. And what a fine looking group of people we have here. And who's this strapping young lad? Oh, look at those, look at those cheeks. Oh dear. Reverend <laughs> Jenkins is behind this, isn't she? Oh, laddie, don't get your shorts in a bunch. It's a bit uncomfortable. I'm Angel from God the Almighty. And I belong here. And besides, I'm a bug catcher. Can I catch any bugs from you? I'm fresh out. Oh, thank you, laddie. It's a nice, big, chunky one. <laughs> I'll save it for later. Oh, God, forgive me. But I, I can't wait till Pastor Lynn sees this. <laughs> really? Are you thinking that's helping? I tell you what I'm thinking. Murder. That's what I'm thinking. Deacon, Deacon. Listen, it's obvious the lights are on, but nobody's home. I'm not talking about this clown. I'm talking about the pastor. You know what, let me take you to Pastor Lynn. She's gonna love to meet you. Yes, dear. I do have a message for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, this type of stuff never happens at my church. Spend much time around Lynn and you'll see it all the time. It's like the Lord says, I need a laugh today. Let me find Lynn Jenkins and see if I can mess with her. <laughs> well, he found her today. And he is really messing with her. Isn't it great? <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of, I think she may need some reinforcement. <laughs> oh, there you are, 
zombie lessies? Angel, I told you to stay in the car. When the Lord beckons, child, I must obey. Trust and obey. Always trust and obey. Angel, this is Reverend Jenkins. Oh, lassie, don't be silly. I already know. And the Lord wants you to know that he loves you. You're the apple of his eye. But he needs you to understand something, dearie. That you can't help people if you're sitting at home reading and writing. Do you understand me, lassie? This is a word from the Lord to you. How would she know that? Do you think she's an angel unaware? Maybe at the very least a foolish thing to confound the wise? Reverend Jenkins, you are not going to turn this church into a circus. I was here a long time before you were, and I... Oh, bloody be boy, there you go again, getting your shorts all rumpled up. Will you never learn to trust the Lord? Look, somebody better muzzle this clown and send them back to the circus, or I'm calling the police. I only go where the Lord commands. I... I am a servant of the Almighty God, and He has sent me to this place. Can't you see she's flipped her wig? Ooh, the dog here. Poor oh, laddie. The Lord wants you to know that He spared your wee pet because you loved Him. He showed you mercy. And now he wants to teach you how to love people and how to receive love from them. These things you've never known. Oh, oh me bug is all alone. I must find another. <gasps> That's all it takes. Just a blast of the horn. Exactly where is Angel supposed to live? Oh, she has a room in our transitional house. What's she need us for then? Well, she needs to be around normal people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but do you think you're going to find any of those people around here? And that's how you're going to be helping me from now on. <laughs> I'm sorry, couldn't resist. Oh, and I can't resist you, laddie. I know you've got good bugs. <laughs> this place is an insane asylum, and the inmates are running the place. So, Reverend Jenkins, is this how you expect to grow our church? <laughs> so, as I was saying, she needs to be around normal people. So I was thinking she could attend your services and she could um, come to some of your fellowship gatherings. Our services? Mm -hmm. So you expect Looney Tune to start clowning around during service and then the pastor to grab some kind of horn and give it a blast? But you know what, Deacon? The Bible does say that the Lord shall return at the sound of a trumpet. Maybe that's why she's here. Okay. Great. Am I the only sane person in this place? Where's the clown? <gasps> oh my Great. God. Now the clown's on the loose. 